It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. It's ice fishing season. I'm back to do her. Cows are standing, fish are biting. Okay, we don't know if the fish are biting yet, but the cows are definitely standing this morning. That means biting fish, right? The sleigh, all loaded. Going to be a little bit of a pull, but hey, ice should be smooth though. So hopefully when I get out there, it'll be a little bit easier to pull. I've got all gear with me, as in safety gear, floating suit, spud bar, spikes. I've also got cleats on my boots to help things go smoother. I'm gonna get out there, set up today's target. Walleyes, pikes, burbot, oh my, whatever. Whatever bites, right? I just wanna catch some fish. I'm eager to get on the ice. Let's go, let's talk more out there. I wanna go fishing. Three inches of like solid ice, thicker this way for sure. You can see this kind of just froze over the last couple nights, so gonna have to be careful. So I kind of determined, I don't know if you see me in the camera, I went out there a bit, check things out. I kind of found the end of the line where I want to be, so I'm definitely gonna go out there though and kind of pop some holes in this little area. Still gotta tread carefully, but keeping these things on all day for sure. Wow, feels good to be fishing. I've got cameras rolling. I've got a camera on the flasher. I'm jacked. I'm finally fishing. Finally. There's my bait. Drag's good. Always check your drag from the tip. We'll loosen that a bit. 12.3 feet of water. I'd like to be a little bit deeper, but uh, the ice isn't gonna really allow me to push much further i've just got a permanent grin on my face right now i'm back ice fishing it's here it's here folks 2019 20 ice 2019 2020 ice fishing season 2020 it sounds so funny to say 2020 2020 definitely keeping the floating suit on like all day even it's nice stuff right now i could take my jacket off floating suit staying on there we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, ooh, nice fish. It's not small. Oh, the shallow water is so intense. Like the fight is just right here. This is not small. <laughs> I'm a little <laughs> nervous. First, first fish of the year, right? Like, oh, it's a nice walleye. It's a nice walleye. Oh, we stuck in the hole, stuck in the hole. Oh, got him to go. Look at that thin ice, baby. Yes! First fish right there of the 2019-20 ice fishing season. It feels good. Okay, hooks out right there. First fish. It's like a 17-18 incher. 17-18 incher. I'm keeping this one. I want one or two fish to eat uh, on the tailgate tonight that I'm going to cook up. Actually, on this video, probably the end of the video, we're going to cook it up on the tailgate. So yes, there we go. First fish, baby. You're going to taste so good. Well, my first impressions of the new frostbite rod are, are good. Obviously, it's not a monster fish, but I'm happy how it handled it. it absorbed the head shakes. This is uh, a 38-inch medium true grit this will be my 
my go-to walleye rod for this year, like hands down. Very, very finicky bite. Switch to a jig and a minnow. Come on. Very finicky bite. There we go. That's might what it takes right now is maybe a little bit of bait for them, right? Ooh. <laughs> Instantly he's up to like three and a half feet, right? You just have to be so careful. Don't horse them too quick early ice, especially shallow water, because what's gonna happen is they're gonna get right to the bottom of the ice, and that's where you're gonna lose the majority of your fish, is right in that last two feet. They just do circles around the ice, they'll get caught, they'll come up, they'll get caught on the bottom of the hole, and they'll be gonzo. Ooh. He's off to the side right now somewhere. Come on, ooh, nice walleye, nice walleye, yes, fat walleye, fat one, fat one. <laughs> Man, do I love first ice walleyes. You can't beat first ice walleyes. What a chunker. Solid like 22 incher. Way too big to keep, that's for sure. Chunky monkey. So awesome. Come on, don't spin on me right there. <laughs> Jig in the middle. That took like a total of, I don't know, I'd like to say about two minutes, something like that. So maybe a little bit of bait could be the could be the ticket. Oh, they're coming up. They're checking it out. They're going back down. Oh, that fish crushed me. Oh. This, if this, that fish just crushed me. I'm thinking this is a pike. If it's a walleye, it's a giant. But I'm thinking it's a pike. That fish just crushed it. Like, <laughs> everything's been so finicky and this thing just come and just hammered me. I'm thinking pike though. Like, oh, that was intense. I just wanted to be a walleye so bad. Because if it's a walleye, it's a big one. I don't even know where it is right now. Yeah, that's, I got a, I got my drag fairly light right now. So it, now. Like, come on, Clayton, quit trying to convince yourself this is a walleye. You've caught enough pike to know that this is a pike. <laughs> Everything's been so finicky, and then this mark just come in and just crushed me. Other marks were just hanging around. What is it here? Yeah, it's a pike, which we knew was going to be a pike. It's a nice pike, though. I don't want it to lose my jig. Ooh, come here. Ooh, you got to be so careful right at the hole. And I really don't want to lose my jig. Like I'm using just six pound fluoro. And I haven't seen my jig yet. So it's probably in the back of his mouth somewhere here. Nice thing about early ice is you can dip your rod underneath that ice quite easily. Come here. Come here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it was in the, it was in the corner. It could have, oh, am I going to have to? I have to get my pliers out. Oh, popped out. Okay. I was able to pop it out. It was just barely hooked. Nice pike. Not what we're after, but it's a good fish. See ya, girl. Come back again when you're about 45 inches. And there she goes. Remember, after pike, check your floral leaders really, really well. The slightest nick could cause you to lose trophy walleye of a lifetime. Looks good. Mm, tastes pikey. Well, I talked a little bit earlier about the rod. And uh, that was a little bit bigger fish. Obviously, it was a pike, though. But uh, this held it quite well. And as you noticed, I was able to just pop the hook out with my hand. It was kind of just caught just in the skin a little bit. And I could have backed it out, but I knew I could have popped it through, through there, too. So if you'd had a, a heavier rod that didn't have a lot of forgiveness in it, it easily could have just popped that hook straight out. So I'm right now, I'm not going to rate this rod yet because it's still too early, but I'm very happy with it. Very. Come on now. Got a couple marks down there. One's really interested. One's flashing in and out. Followed me up. Another thing to really keep in mind at first ice is how much you move on the ice. These fish can hear everything that's going on above the ice right now like even when i'm standing and i start to mark a fish if i'm going to go to my knees i'm like really taking my time down i don't want to spook them smaller fish probably aren't going to get spooked away but 
big fish get big for a reason. They have such good senses. You know, obviously they make mistakes and they bite fake lures all the time. But there's there's a reason why they're as big as they get. They're smart. Come on. So tentative. Oh, big mark. Big mark. Oh, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, baby. That felt good. I gotta get my transducer out. Remember, like I said earlier, be very careful around the shallow water on the hole. I don't want to lose them. Got them pinned. Got them pinned quite well. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Nice. Come on, baby. It's so cool to watch them underneath the ice. First ice is my favorite time. Oh, good fish. Good fish. See how they get they get their nose stuck on that edge of that hole. And it's so easy for them to pop that. Look at that one. There we go, baby. Oh, that one didn't hit very hard. And he's just like, look at that. Just barely, barely, barely hooked. Like it's been a very, very finicky day so far, but I think as the sun's dropping, we're gonna really get into him. Awesome. You know, now that I think of it, I don't even know if I have a camera on this hole for release of the, maybe my far camera, but I have nothing really pointing down. I should probably turn that one pointed down. I'm rusty, okay? I'm rusty. Well, I just checked that angle and it looks like I am capturing the hole for the release when the fish first comes out. You guys, how about a time for a little bit of shameless self-promotion? I've got new toque slash beanies available on the website. Should be basically when this video is released. I'll try to get the website up and going before I put this video out. So yeah, they're like a dark, uh, dark gray color, charcoal. They turn out really good. They fit like nice tight, like down under your ears how they should. So you've got a big noggin, super happy with how they turned out. So go purchase one on the website or email me or, uh, directly uh, if you're from Canada. I can also do um, an e-transfer as well. So yeah, thanks boys. A little shameless self, shameless self promotion. Once that sun is behind those clouds, it gets chilly quick. Right now, I almost wish I had a shack. I plan on doing more moving around, but I've been marking fish kind of consistently. And then uh, the ice is really, I don't want to be moving too crazy amount. So I almost could have brought the shack out, but it's nice to be outside. I'll have a lot of shack fishing this winter, a lot. So just gotta be happy with what I got right now. Here we go. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Little guy. But uh, I've caught um, so many fish today on different lures. This is like my fourth type of bait I'm using, I think. I'm now onto a rattle bait. This is what I started the day with. And I always had plans to go back to a rattle bait near the end of the day. Once the sun started to drop, oh, this ice is really jagged on the knees. Right there, little guy, he would be a good keeper. But I already got my one for supper tonight, so he's gonna go back today. Like I said, back to a rattle bait. It's one of those tantrums by Frostbite. Yes, I've said Frostbite a lot today, I know. But it won't be the only baits I'm using. using. I obviously used a bunch of different lures today too. But I did wanna I did want to give this tantrum a good shot and see what it was all about at some point. And, uh, well, it scored that little guy. It has been a very, very weird. It has been a very weird day. I just switched back to a jig and a minnow again. It's like every time I switch baits, I like catch fish like almost instantly. And then I go forever without like catching any fish, a mark fish. They just come in and then don't eat switch bait catch fish 
don't catch fish switch bait catch fish it's so weird today like it's definitely a finicky bite but i'm gonna try jigging a minnow for a bit again it's only four quarter after four so it's really just starting to get towards prime time oh that's a cisco that's uh that's a cisco that's why that fish was finicky cisco disco cisco this fish right here is exactly why these walleyes are in the shallow water. These fish, the Ciscos, aka Tulubi, have just finished their spawn probably within a couple weeks here. They spawn right before ice and that water gets super cold or almost basically at freezing temperatures. The walleye follow them in to these shallow bays to get a little snack. Find these fish early, find the walleye. Ooh, 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 that's a good walleye, that's a good walleye, that's a good walleye, he just came up so fast, jeez, that's a good walleye, like, he just shot to the surface though, like, it seemed like there was, there was no weight, but he just comes straight up with the bait, and then he slashed around the top of the ice a bit here. And here he is. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You wouldn't believe this, but yet another <laughs> different lure again. I think I already showed it with the Cisco's maybe. I was using a slender spoon. No, oh, it's a good walleye. Come on. Prime time, baby. Prime time. It's all about the prime time. <laughs> Early ice feels like, oh, it's so much easier to lose them. Like I said, though, it was like crazy because it was like I set the hook. There was weight drop down to a knee and then all of a sudden it's like at the hole he just comes straight up with the bait oh back up baby back up there we go there we go there we go there we go he's caught on the hole caught on the hole there we go that's a good fish that's a good one that's a good one yes big wall eyes oh baby again but barely hooked like just barely these fish have not been aggressive today at all they've been pretty finicky for the most part but that's a great fish everything of 25 26 inches beautiful back down you go baby and like i said yet another different bait this is i believe it's called a slender spoon yeah just something different i don't know it's been crazy i think i've caught fish on five different baits today insane when they're not that aggressive like when they're biting finicky it pays off more than ever to have a super sticky sharp hook every fish today has been just hardly hardly hooked right in the top of the mouth like hardly it's definitely a finicky bite today no doubt about it oh yes well, fish took a little bit of coaxing but we got him we got him oh i love the clear water I can see them from so far away. Oh, run, run, run. My drag's not, come on drag, come on drag. I think it's a pretty good fish. Come on, oh yeah, yes, 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 yes. They fight so crazy in, in the shallow water. Oh baby, where are you? I wanna get my other glove off here. I saw a glimpse of them out here. We come up to the ice again. Look pretty good. It's a nice walleye. It's definitely a respectable walleye. Respectable walleye. Respectable walleyes. Love that prime time. Love that prime time. Come here, baby. There we go. Yes. Pounded the rattle bait right there. So good. Again, look at just in the top lip. Like these fish have been finicky all day today. Why aren't you guys aggressive? Maybe tomorrow. But yeah, okay. Catching some fish. Just feels good to be back on the ice. One of my favorite places to be. So relaxing, so peaceful. It's a pretty nice day. It wasn't windy, which was really nice. Sun was out for a while, so it was warm. Then it got cold, but now it's starting to get a little bit better again. It's not that cold right now. 
I'm just happy. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy you're here with me today. I'm not catching anything, not marking much anymore. I think it's time to go to the truck, cook up some walleyes. Filming my outro on the iPhone, so I don't know how it's gonna be. My one Canon camera is acting weird. It gives me like 20 seconds in an air. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, so I'm outside cooking on the tailgate right here. It's snowing, it's miserable. Why am I cooking out here? Because I'm sleeping in the truck tonight. I don't mind sleeping in the truck, especially when I plan on being on the ice nice and early. So maybe I'll do a little video of in the truck yet of all settled in, watching a movie or whatnot, but yeah. You guys, I appreciate you all watching. It wasn't a crazy day of fishing, but we got the etch, scratched, got on the ice, got a couple nice walleyes topside, got some to eat. That's the best part. I'm so excited to uh, enjoy these walleye tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it as always, you guys. And don't forget, get outside.